My name is Josh Presley. We're at the Halifax BJJ Society today. Today we're going to find out who is the best blue belt of these eight blue belts on this given day. We're going to have an eight-man tournament, single elimination. We're going to do some post-match interviews, have some fun. Tournaments are starting to get back up again. Hopefully COVID's getting out of the way and we'll be able to get these guys some good experience, see what a real tournament's like, have multiple matches in a short amount of time, and let's have some fun. All right, our first match of the bracket in the tournament had Mike taking on Amit. Mike came out strong. He looked to take Amit down with a foot sweep. It didn't work, but he got him down with a front headlock. And from there, the majority of the match was Mike on offense trying to pass, and Amit was forced to play defense. Working a lot from his half guard, he tried to get things going, but Mike was able to shut him down at every turn. He was able to pass, got his points for side control. Amit was able to re-guard. That was the majority of the battle. Mike had, was able to work some nice leg pummeling. He was able to break open the guard and get to half, briefly able to mount, not long enough to get the points. Almas always a tough customer. Mike wasn't able to get the submission, but he took this victory on points and he moved on to the semifinals. A lot of nerves in the first match. Both these guys looked, looked sharp and they fought well out there. All right, Almas, you're in the first match. You weren't able to successfully get it done. Mike took you out on points. He wasn't able to submit you, but uh, wh what do you think went wrong for you there? I think I should have swimmed and uh, my shrimp was not timed well and Mike had good pressure. And uh, yeah, uh, I kept uh, uh, giving advice that I'm supposed to push his face away, but I was scared of his classic figure four lock. So I was avoiding that. Yeah, uh, I thought uh, my main goal was take it to EBI, but yeah, he scored the points, so. <laughs> I know, I know you were excited about the late edition of heel hooks. How close, do you, how close do you think you were to a heel hook? And if you would have got on one, do you, do you think you would have won? Oh yeah, if, if Mike would have stood up, I would have just jumped into heel hooks. But uh, yeah, he was careful and he was just maintaining his half guard and his side, uh, side control pressure. So yeah, Mike was doing a good job by avoiding his uh, close contact of his feet to me. Yeah. Yeah, we all know we got to be careful when, you're, uh, when you get a sniff of those feet. So. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, Amit. I thought you did well. Uh, what, what do you want to tell all your friends in Bangalore that are watching this at home? Bangalore, yeah, Jiu-Jitsu is a great sport. Uh, it, it, uh, it definitely helps you in fitness and self-defense. And it, it is a very effective sport. And a smaller guy like me can take out people with heel hooks and foot locks, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, right on, bro. Thanks for uh, participating, and I think you're going to do real well in the next one. Okay, we got our first match in the books. Mike took that one on points. Mike, we all know Amit is a pretty swirly, squirmy guy. Uh, what did you think about that match? Uh, it's not my best, but hopefully it's not my worst too. So it's, uh, he's a slippery guy, so just uh, don't like to take too many chances with him and uh, get greedy. Just sometimes control is best in that situation, so <laughs> that's uh, basically it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. It's always good to get the first one out of the way too. You get the nerves out, get some energy, you know. Didn't get the submission, it went the whole time, but you took it on points and I thought you looked pretty impressive. So now you're going to take on the winner of the next match. And what, what do you think about this, Ed, Ed and Andrew? Both of them are good, seem to be good wrestlers, so it's obviously my weak point, so we'll, we'll see. I'm kind of timid, both of them, to be honest, so we'll see. All right, buddy, well, good luck in the next round. You're on to the semifinals, congratulations. All right. The second match had Andrew taking on Ed. Now, we got to see Ed's main game here. He got on top, was almost able to get on the offense and score points. Ed transitioned to side control. Andrew had some nice guard recoveries and was also working some nice techniques of his own. There's a nice half guard scramble that ended with Ed past Andrew's guard. Andrew was able to hit a nice bridge on Ed and take him over from bottom side control. There was even some nice leg attacks. Ed, Ed looked to enter into the legs, but Andrew was wise enough to put weight onto his foot, look to get a hold of his head and defend. But unfortunately for Andrew, he ran out of time. 
It might have been a different story if it was a little bit of a longer match, but Ed stuck to his game plan. He put points on the board, he stayed on top, and he rode, rode this one out and got the victory. And he's gonna move on to take on Mike in our first semifinal match. The loser of our second match, Andrew. It was a competitive battle. You were able to reverse him from bottom side control. Unfortunately, that's not a scoring move. But you were able to get on top. You just couldn't quite get it done. What, how, how did the match go in your eyes? Um, we had a couple good scrambles, and it has a really good yard, and I was trying to break it at the end to get some points, but I couldn't. Yeah. Right on. Now, I know you've been showing up for this wrestling class quite often. You seem to be interested in takedowns. Do you think that's going to be something you really want to add to your game? Yes. You want to be a strong wrestler? Yeah, for sure. There's def that's definitely a hole in my jiu-jitsu game, but luckily we do it every Monday. It's been helping with my takedowns a lot, so thank you, Josh. Yeah, no, no problem. Thanks for, for showing up. I think once you add that, I think these matches are going to start to go in your favor, and I, I can't wait to see you out there in the next one. Thank you very much. All right, right on. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm here with the winner of our second match, Ed. Ed, you got it done on points. You got a takedown. You got a guard pass. He was able to bridge you over and reverse you, but you were able to shut him down from there. What do you think? Uh, how, how, would, how did the match go in your eyes? Oh, good. I like to do things slow, controlled, and then work for a submission. It's like I don't like to take unnecessary risks. So it was going the way I wanted. Didn't get the finish, which is always the result, but uh, pretty happy with it overall. Nice. Well, we all know. You're a dog in competition. I threw you in the fire probably a, a day after you were gone for, what, eight, eight, eight months? Yep. So we, we know you're always gung-ho. Now you're in the semifinals. You got Mike. Uh, you gonna you think you'll probably have a similar game plan for this next match? Oh, yeah, my game plan pretty much never changes. So, uh, you know, if you watch any of this, I'm probably screwed in the future. But uh, that's the way it is. Right on, man. Well, you're in the semifinals. You could have up to three matches today. You're getting lots of good experience, and you're looking good out there. So congratulations. Thank you. Match number three had Rob taking on Monir. This is probably my most anticipated match of the first round. Two strong wrestlers going at it. And Monir kicked things off, hitting a nice single leg takedown for two points. And then immediately he stayed aggressive, stayed on the attack. He was able to pass Rob's guard with the guillotine. He chased the back from side control, but Rob's a tough customer. He was able to recover nicely, and he ended up on top in closed guard looking to attack. Monir hit a very nice transition. He went from closed guard, ended up on top. He was looking to chase the back. He's always looking for the submission, but Rob was able to avoid it, and we, we kept the battle going. He was able to put Rob into bottom side control again, but Rob was able to fight out. He hung tough, and there was a lot of scrambles going on in this, in this match. Monir was looking good. He, at one point, ended up with one hook on the back, he wasn't able to get the, get the submission or the second hook, but nonetheless, he looked really sharp in this match. He attempted a triangle choke that Rob was able to escape, but in the end, Monir took the victory on points. Rob fought hard, but he couldn't quite get it done in this one. Monir won the third match. He's gonna move on to the semifinal match, taking on the winner of Imtiaz and Chris Graham. Okay, so I'm here with Rob. You were in our third match. Unfortunately, Monir was able to get that one on points. You had your moments. What, what did, how did the match go in your eyes? Uh, I think that he took me down and then I hit, I, everybody knows I hit to be on guard. So that's why I scrambled, tried my best. And at the very end, tried to do the guillotine, but I don't have much time. Yeah, yeah, you just, I think you just kind of ran out of time. And you know, time's definitely a factor. We, these were six minute matches. So I feel like you're a bit of a, how do you feel? You want you like the shorter time length or the longer time rounds? I want no time limit and just go for a submission. I hate losing my points. I hate winning my points. Well, it sounds like an open challenge to me. I think uh, Rob is willing to take on anyone in a no time limit match. So uh, thanks for doing this one, Rob. You look good out there. And uh, what, what do you uh, think is coming next for you? Uh, I'm just going to work work on it. This one's a learning experience for me. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm good at this. I've been working at this for years, so... I'll do my best next time, and I'll be on top. Right on. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, bro. You uh, you look good out there, and uh, can't wait to see you out there again. Winner of our third match, Monir. You're a rising star in amongst the blue belts, Monir. You're uh, sharpening up your wrestling. You had a nice guard pass, back take. 
It looked like he was maybe going for that cross ankle lock on, on the back on you. What, uh, what do you think about that match? How'd it go? Uh, it went well. I know he's, uh, I've trained with him before, so he's, he's a pretty tough guy and hard to hold down too. So yeah, and uh, but I'm happy about the result. I knew the submission was going to be a bit hard and that ankle lock he had was pretty tight. Um, but I got out of it and uh, tried to keep position. Nice, it was uh, an impressive match. Now you're on to the semifinals. You could have up to three matches here. How do you feel about that? Tired. <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's uh, it's been fun so far, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Nice. I'm interested to see how you, how you do in the semifinals and potentially the finals. So good luck, Monier. Thanks a lot. Cheers. This match of the first round had MTS taking on Chris Graham. Now I was excited about this matchup too. Two hungry guys looking to get after it. Chris Graham mainly known as a guard puller, took the action to the ground, and we saw both guys think about attacking the legs. Quick stand up, we went to the ground again, and then we saw both guys get in what I call a leg lock shootout, where they were attacking toe holds and leg locks on each other. Now, unfortunately for MTS, Chris Graham won this shootout. He got the fastest shot off and was able to crank the toe hold and get the submission. Now, that punched his ticket into the semifinals and we saw our first leg lock victory of the bracket. All right, I'm here with MTS. He had the last quarterfinal match. Unfortunately, he lost to Chris Graham, he got leg locked. MTS, you seem like you're quite interested in, in the leg locks and starting to add them to your game, am I correct? Yeah, I, because you know, I, I'm a smaller guy, so I tend to go for the leg locks. Uh, I, I feel that way I'm a bit safer. I can control the other guy. But for this match particularly, I was thinking I'm gonna wrestle, but um, you know, I think I went for the knee bar, but he got that, you know, uh, the foot lock, so the toe hold. So, but it was an amazing match, amazing intensity. I hope to compete again soon. Um, this was, I've been competing after like 2016. This is my first uh, BGG competition in house. Yeah, I hope to compete more and learn more and learn obviously more leg locks. Yeah, no, I thought you did, uh, you did quite well and you and Chris Graham was one of my, probably my most anticipated match for the first round. He's quite good and you're, Quite good. It was a great clash of styles. It ended up being a leg lock shootout, but it could have went the other way just as easy, you know. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, and thank you for the match. Thanks for thanks for doing it. Right on. Okay, I'm here with the winner of the last quarterfinal match, Chris Graham. Chris, you got him with a with the toe hold. Was that your first leg submission victory? Uh, yes. Yeah, that was my first one. Um, it's something that's starting to become starting to come in training a little bit more. I start uh, seeing leg locks as a opportunity to submit guys and I quite enjoy them, so I was, I was happy to get that. Yeah, nice, it was uh, it was pretty impressive. There's a, a bit of a crack, hopefully MTS is, is all right. Now you could have up to three matches today. How, how do you think your cardio is? Uh, I think it's there for sure. I mean, I'm always working out and giving her, so I think it's there. Yeah. If you go three, six minute match, it could be up to 18 minutes, bro. <laughs> I'll give her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great out there in the first round, Chris. You got the semifinal coming up, coming up shortly. So good luck, bro. Hopefully, we'll see you in the finals. That's good. Thank you.